Dolls out there in YouTube land, your favorite little keto goofball diamond, and today I believe is 711 of my ketogenic journey, going from a former adult BBW model down to a keto cutie. I am so happy about it. <laughs> um, I'm gonna sh well, normally this is the part where I'd show you what I ate yesterday that was perfectly keto friendly, but instead I'm gonna have to tell you what I did yesterday, and there's a reason for it. Now, uh, if you need my help, I'm here to help anybody start their keto journey or anybody who's stuck in their keto journey. So all my contact information is below, including my website, ketodiamond.com, with a full beginner's guide and every food I can think of that you can eat that's keto friendly. So please go check that out. Plus there's a playlist right here on the front of this channel that'll teach you all about keto and everything I know. So, all right, let's get started and I'm going to go ahead and insert my before and afters here. And then I'm going to get to showing y'all some cute little things. And I'll be right back with a chit chat and a weigh in. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe if you're new here, and ring the bell. I'll be right back. I think I just started. Anyway, guys, I forgot to tell you that, guess what? Two nights in a row, I got over seven hours of sleep. I am so stoked and excited. It feels good. I feel great today. I really do, and I'm so happy about it. <sighs> Yay. Anyway, that'll be at the end. Just thought I'd show you, or tell you, whatever. So, I have a house full. They're all in yonder. You might hear anything coming from out through there. Don't worry if you hear the baby crying. His mama's in there with him. So, <laughs> huh. speaking of babies, yesterday we thought we were going to get to hear the new baby's heartbeat. Destiny is pregnant. So, we went to the baby doctor. And she wanted us all to go back there with him so Zach could be involved and I could take videos and all that good stuff. Well, it's too early to hear his heartbeat yet, but they could monitor it and see it. So his heartbeat was beating, or his or her, we don't know what it is yet. She is only nine weeks pregnant, but her heart, the heartbeat was good and strong, 167 beats a minute. She's hoping for a girl, me, I don't care. But I do have two grandsons already, so a granddaughter would be just fine with me. Uh, but while we were there, we, we left... The, the appointment went until 2, but Zach slept till noon, so when we got him up and got him all dressed and everything, um, he was a little ill and annoyed, um, but while we were at the doctor's office, he was hungry. He even asked the doctor if he had any food, and his dad's like, don't worry, don't worry, we'll go eat in a minute. Luckily, right up the road is a golden corral, which is my Achilles heel. Now, I did not do anything wrong, wrong, although wrong technically for my body. So, let me explain. Yesterday while we were there, I stuck to keto-friendly meats, steak, beef. Um, I did have some grilled chicken and a few uh, things like that. But I have been getting concerned about my magnesium levels. I have been out of magnesium for a while. This did arrive yesterday, the Mag Enhance. I'll tell you all about that in a minute. But uh, <laughs> I had some keto-friendly meats, and I decided my magnesium probably really is low and I need to have some vegetables and since I'm there and they have all those pre-cooked vegetables let's go ahead and get into that so I had some broccoli and I had some um, what's it called zucchini um, what else did I have I had a Brussels sprout which I'm not a big fan of. I had a bite of cauliflower, which I really hated in that particular form. Um, I did try like a bunch of di different vegetables. I had a small side salad. I walked up out of there, guys, dying. I ate way too much keto-friendly food yesterday. And again, keto-friendly for most of y'all. I left up out of there, poked out the here with a food baby that looked like it was triplets that were already six months old and born. I mean, literally, I barely fit behind the wheel again. The bloat was terrible with this one, okay? It was god-awful. But I always knew that's going to happen. And I think I was watching Rich, the keto mechanic, one day. And he had went carnivore for a while. And when he went back to vegetables, his water weight shot up. Um, he felt awful. He felt terrible because he wasn't used to having vegetables in his stomach anymore. And over time, that went away. Now, I don't plan on going full-on veggie anymore. But um, I did. I was concerned about my 
my magnesium levels since I am primarily carnivore and have been out of magnesium. Now again, I'm going to show you all these real fast. They did come in yesterday. I'm so happy to have these. I do think from everything I've read, from all the research I've done, these might be the best magnesium on the market. They're kind of expensive. They're $25 for a month supply, but it does appear they're going to be worth it. And sometimes it sucks, but value, you know. Sometimes the value is not in the $3 bottle. It's just not. Um, you don't really get a lot of magnesium from the $3 bottle. The forms are not that good. They don't cross the blood-brain barrier. This one does. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to link it below. It's always in my description section, by the way, since I found out about it, even before I ordered it, because I wanted people to have access to what, the one I think is the best. Uh, do your own research. See if this is the product for you. If not, it's not. But I'm going to show you what they look like real fast. Hold on, check this out. So something I didn't put in there was that they don't have a smell. They don't stink. I took them before, well before bedtime because magnesium can make people sleepy. These never made me tired feeling. So that's a good thing. They didn't make me nauseous. I only had one meal yesterday, so that, that meal from Golden Corral wasn't OMAD for me, which is unusual for me. But with the bloat going on in my belly, they wasn't no room for nothing else. Now, I did suffer some water weight from the um, vegetables. It's cool. I wasn't kicked out of ketosis, but I did get some water weight. So, um, what was I yesterday? I think I was 185.2 or 0.8. I went up to 187. So, there, there's going to be some. And since this is a weight loss channel, I always feel bad, no matter what the reason is, that my weight went up. Um, and I don't know why. I don't feel like terribly horrible or anything, but I feel a little bad telling you, oh, well, it's a weight loss channel, but... I went up yesterday. I'm not worried about it. And you shouldn't be either. Mm, sorry. Especially when you're changing your diet up. You're adding vegetables. You're adding working out. All these things will cause you to add, add water weight. And that's fine. I don't really necessarily want to go up. But sometimes there's cause and effect. And there's reasons for it. Even without chocolate. Um, or donuts or anything else of that nature. So it's okay. I don't mind. You shouldn't mind either. <sighs> All that being said. Yesterday was OMAD. It's almost 3 p.m. Your girl getting hungry. So I'm going to show you some stuff from the baby doctor's appointment yesterday. They're just short, tiny little clips. Guys, you got to watch the video I just did. And I feel like I'm doing product placements today talking about these. I don't make anything on this. If you buy it, it it's nothing for me. It's just the one I honestly think is the best one on the market. And I want to share that with y'all because where keto, magnesium is a big deal. If you're new to keto, magnesium, potassium, and sodium are huge deals to you huge you need these items you need to up your salt your salt intake all right when you start keto it's anti-inflammatory you will notice you're going to pee a lot you're peeing off all the excess water you've built up over a long period of time because of that you can get dehydrated drink plenty of fluid because of that you're going to pee even more drink more fluid and because of that you're going to lose sodium magnesium and potassium three things your body needs desperately to function. I'll link below also um, a, a website article that I wrote, uh, an article that I wrote on my website that tells you all the things you could be experiencing, which, which mineral is causing you to experience it, and what you can do about it. I don't think I linked this on there yet, but again, this link's in the description anyway. So, you need those. Those are, if you don't know what you're doing, Keto can lay you on your ass. It can put you in the hospital because those things are important, okay? They just are. I'm sorry, but it's true. So pay attention to your body. Is it telling you something? Are you suffering from severe headaches? Are you having cramps? Are you bloating? What's going on with your body? These things are important. And over on my website, it's called Electrolyte. I think I just named it Electrolytes or the importance of Electrolytes or something like that. But it, you can find it. And I will, again, link it below too so you can find it. Speaking of that, and like I said, I'm not trying to do product placements here. But today I did do a product placement video. Why? Because I'm in love. Check these suckers out. Now they don't look like much, right? Just glass beaded bracelets. And I kind of felt bad of them when I first started to buy them. Well, uh, got, the company sent me a... $60 voucher to get them with. Um, and I thought, they're not worth $20 a piece. They're just not. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. I didn't think they would be. Even when I got the package today, I was like, no, that ain't worth 20 bucks. Really? They open the bathroom door and let you in. Hold on. Let me beat somebody. 
life is hard. <laughs> it really is. So anyway, when I say it about these, watch that video because something amazing happens in it. I nearly fell the hell out when I saw it happen. But, you know, I, I was thinking that they weren't worth the money because they're 20 bucks a piece. But I have a link to, by the way, that's 40% off on that video. Go check that out. But they fit over any hand. When I got it, I was like, that's a baby bracelet. That's not going to fit me. It fit me. It fit my daddy who's got them ham hands. You got to go watch that video because, like I said, I nearly fell out when he put that damn bracelet on. And the card said, will fit over any hand. Lifetime guarantee will not break. And if you think about it, how much do we pay for gold that will break that has no lifetime guarantee? So, yeah, it's worth it. And again, I got a 40% off link if you want to go check them out. I love this one. For anybody who's been following me at all, turquoise is my favorite color. I even painted my doors turquoise. So, I'm in love with this. I wish I had got three of these, these ones. But my daughter, <laughs> she confiscated one. The one that my dad put over his hand because it got a little big. And once it goes over your hand, of course, it's not too tight on your wrist. No matter how small it looks when you get it. It's pretty damn awesome. I'll throw that link on this video too. But I really want you to go watch the other video because... I'm in love. I didn't think I'd like them. In fact, I felt kind of stupid getting them and thinking they're not going to like me when I tell people about their product because I'm a little too honest most of the time. I'm the bitch in the corner that's going to tell you about yourself, but don't ask me. As long as you don't ask me, I ain't going to tell you. But <laughs> anyway, I just thought I'd, yeah, it turned into a product placement video, guys. I'm sorry, but I really do like them. And there's nothing wrong with t talking about products you actually like, need, and enjoy and use. I used them last night. I like these. That I didn't get nauseous, they didn't stink, they weren't too huge, so, yeah. Anyway, gonna insert my way in, then I'll show you the baby doctor stuff. Much love to you guys and dolls. If you need my help, all of us in the description, including stuff like this uh, magnesium that'll help you out in your journey. Much love, talk to you tomorrow. Bye, y'all. How far are you? Uh, nine weeks, four days. The nine hospital years. was wrong. They told me I was one week ahead. Okay. Sorry. Still these. <laughs> That's the new grandbaby. You, you can't really tell. Can I yeah, I did see him wiggling. Careful, okay? Zach, Zach thought his arm was his tongue, but that's okay. <laughs> oh, the heart rate was 166. 167, I think One, she said. Yeah, 167. That's a good strong heartbeat. Yay. <laughs>